Hey everybody, it's Midnight Beyond. Welcome back to the Daisy Party, bro. Ha ha. In this episode, we're going to Womps the Basement, bro. Ha ha. And that was a very crummy intro. I apologize. Let's go. Let's, let's just let's, let's just get going, everybody. There's only one character needed for this board, so we're just gonna go ahead and play as Daisy, of course. And we got these mini games here for us. We got ourselves Jigsaw Jitters. Put that puzzle together as fast as you can. So it's kind of like picture perfect or whatever it was called puzzle perfect but we got a series of different puzzles we could play and you just gotta uh, do it super quickly we got the 20 piece puzzle the 30 piece puzzle or the 40 piece puzzle they all have different designs let's go ahead and show all of them off uh, it shouldn't take too long as you can see the times on them are pretty short you actually do get rewards if you beat them under a certain amount of time which is also very cool and Yoshi's head looks very sick and big there which is weird and then they get destroyed uh, these pieces do not move like the other ones did, so it's a bit easier in that sense, but I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Uh, it's a bit easier in that sense, but at the same time, there are a lot more pieces you need to put together. Uh, put over there. Uh, Daisy, I remember being over here, because she's my main character in this game. Uh, I do enjoy the idea of, like, I guess there's a question. Do you become more compelled to play Smash Bros. when certain characters get added? Like, I don't feel like that's the case. I feel more compelled to play as certain characters when they get added. Cause like, I know I was never a fan of playing as Peach in uh, Smash Bros before, but I'm really interested in trying to master the art of the Daisy uh, when Smash Ultimate comes out. So I feel like people are compelled to play as characters that they like first off because uh, they like the character. But in terms of whether or not it gets you into Smash Bros, I don't really think uh, the characters themselves uh, convince people to play Smash Bros, like, initially at least, like, if you didn't like Smash 64, then I don't think Smash Melee or Brawl or Smash 4 could really convince you otherwise to play it, like, if the roster changes, if you like the fighting game genre or the concept, then you'll play the fighting game, if you don't like it, then you won't like it, I don't know, maybe that, maybe I'm completely wrong with that, so who knows, uh, we got that time, so he gets us, a puzzle pacemaker, yeah, you get, a uh, special name ranks for every, uh, thingy with him, so, like, depending on how good your rank is, then, uh, you get a special name. So, let's go ahead and do the second one as well. Just gotta show off all the pictures. They're actually really cool-looking pictures, so I do want to show them all off. Uh, this one's my favorite. In case you were all wondering, I'm sure you were all just dying to know what Min and Beyond's favorite puzzle was. It reminds me of a certain puzzle. Would you like to hear it? Apparently not. I'm seriously questioning how the heck I did this, like, in less than a minute before, less than two minutes, I think. Uh, go over here. This one it helps if you know the picture. Uh, I think I did actually have a a picture of it. Yeah, because the characters are upside down sometimes, so sometimes the piece is upside down. Uh, let's see. I don't even remember where he went. Yeah, it's my favorite picture, and yet I can't remember where, went, where anything goes. Uh, okay, whose hand is that? Is that also DK's hand? Yes, it is. Uh, we got Luigi here. Luigi would be upside down because there's a weird O. Uh, Philly. Uh, yep, there you go. I was right, wasn't I? Uh, Peach would be not near Mario? Okay. Uh, is she weird like this? No. <laughs> Gotta see, where's the... A uh, very useful tip, like I said, is to have a picture of the finished product up on your computer or on your phone or something like that, so you could see it more easily. Uh, let's see really seeming difficult. What the fruit is going on here? Where does he- where do you go, Peach? What is your dealio? Uh, Philly. Really? What the heck? Is that- is it a corner piece? Is that it? Okay, I'm stinging dumb. Uh, Yoshi. It just didn't look like a corner piece to me. Okay, I just slid into place. Slide into your DMs like. Uh, over here? Yes. Uh, we got Mario. Uh, I think that's Yoshi, yes. Uh, part of Daisy. I remember her being in the middle. Yep, okay. Yoshi goes right in here. Wario. Probably upside down. Oh, wait, no, there's a bit of Daisy in there. Got a chunk of Daisy! Uh, okay. Did not expect that to work. In there, and there. Uh, right down here. Okay. Uh, Waluigi is somewhere in here. Somewhere in this kerbobble fobble mess. Oh, jeez. Come on, Waluigi. Where do you go? Thank you. I think, yep, this is 
This is a Waluigi. I know a Waluigi fragment when I see one. Uh, let's see here. Peach goes up there. Waluigi number puzzle. I say Waluigi number puzzle. There you go. Uh, Daisy flop back around. Uh, this little nub is uh, right here. Stick Waluigi in there. Donkey Kong over here. Very interesting commentary, I know. Uh, get Wario in there. Waluigi is missing foot. Uh, Peach is missing dress. And last but not least, oh wait, it's Luigi, so it is least. Hur <laughs> hur. Here's the results. You did two minutes fifty three seconds on here, so that gets you. Puzzle Pup. Okay. <laughs> and now we gotta do the final one. Oh boy. I'm sure this will be just as easy. Right, guys? I'm a great puzzle master, right? The great Professor Layton says so. So if he, could, if he believes in me, then I can do anything. Oh dear, Neptune. Puzzles to Layton. Duly noted. My god, I swear those are my actual scores. I did beat those puzzles in like less than two minutes back in the dizzy day. But this is not one of those dizzy days. Jittery Jr. <laughs> okay. I'll have the list of all the nicknames Womp could give you on screen in case you're curious. Oh my stinking god. Barrel Barons are next one. Gonna be a lot shorter, thankfully. Dig for oil and strike it rich. This is just a interesting single player mini game. If you feel a rumble, then start digging for oil. Hooray, you gotta dig three times to see if there's any oil there. <clears throat> My singing god, that was just such a singing long mini game. And now I feel all worn out like I'm in the desert. Hey, it's like with Camp Fan Gamer, I'm in the desert. Because Camp Fan Gamer is the only place that deserts exist, I guess. Uh, this is sort of a weird mini game for you guys to be watching because you can't really. Uh, see what I feel. You know how I feel inside. Okay, there's 10 points. Uh, when you feel the vibration, that is your cue to start digging. Uh, let's see what do we got. What do we got? Got anything? Yep. Uh, right here. Go for the constant vibration. Can't just like feel it and then have it pass. Make sure it's a constant feeling. Uh, right around here. Oh, yep. There you go. There you go. That's the ticket. That a uh, very mini point. It's like right around here. Come on, where are you? Super stinking weird. Was it moving or something? Okay, there you go. Right in there. Um, oh my god, time for this. Okay, cool. 131. New record. Yahoo. Jeez, like. I don't know if it'd be hot or cool to uh, dig for oil in a dress. <laughs> That's a quote of the day right there. Here's the results. Got 131 points. That makes us a... Gas station attendant. Okay. Get on out of here. Up next is... Mushroom Medic. Okay. This game right here. This is seriously my favorite, not just my favorite game in the extra room, my favorite mini game in Mario Party 4 as a whole. Kid Knight and Beyond spent so much time on this game, it's not even funny. And my score is only 21 points, despite how much time I spent on this. Uh, you could get up to 99, but it's really thinking difficult, but 
we just gotta try to figure out who ate the poison mushroom. The one who ate it will have a different heartbeat. Again, this is not really gonna be something that you could experience by watching, because you have to feel the vibration in the controller. Whichever character has a different vibration ate the poison mushroom, you gotta give them a pill before time runs out and before they die. So it's really just, it's an intense game that could just go on forever and ever and ever and you keep on wanting to play it. I remember I just spent so much stinking time on this. So the characters could be Toad, Boo, Shy Guy, Goomba, and Koopa, basically all the show hosts, but they're not in their fancy suits anymore. That one's a very vigorous vibration, vigorous vibration, vigorous, uh, tiny one. So they get it to Goomba. I could just assume that the Shy Guy on the end had the same vibration because they'll, it's not like there'll be multiple different vibrations, there's just two of them. So since the first three all had the same and the fourth one was different, I give it to him. So let's, let's see. Now you see a skeleton of a Goomba back there and a paratroopa. A uh, mini, mini, a uh, vigorous. <laughs> gonna do that. Just a matter of if the first two are different, then you gotta go to the third one and see what they have. Eventually it becomes like a luck thing because the timer can go down to like only five seconds and it becomes really difficult. Yeah! I like how Toad's, Toad's all like, yay! Uh, I think it's the first one. Oh, I know it's this one. Uh, sort of confusing right there. Uh, give it to Goomba. And we're good. Uh, sorry about that being quiet with that one. It was just, that was a, kind of a tricky one for just the third one. Uh, it'd be cool if I could beat my score, but who knows. Uh, we're just gonna keep on going until I beat it because I'm just going through so many memories of playing this again. Very loud, very loud, so this one's super, super quiet. Uh, the shy guy eats it through the mask, but whatever. Maybe it's just a little hole in the mask right there. And that explains it. It'd be weird if I just like gave it through the eye hole or something like that. And go ahead and get these guys again. Just keep on doing this. I don't know why I found this so amusing. Like, I'm really sad that this wasn't in Mario Party Top 100, of course. But, um, I guess it would make sense because the 3DS doesn't have any vibrate systems, so it would not be able to be fully recreated. But I'm sure that wouldn't stop them from just changing whatever the heck they wanted to make it appeal to them. Oh, I swear, the only good thing about Mario Party of the Top 100 is that snazzy suit that Mario wears on the box art. That's literally the only good thing I have to say about it. Hello. <laughs> it's always funny it was like a super obvious one. You know, I'll try to have like the controller on the microphone so you can sort of feel the vibration with me. I apologize if this sounds terrible. Uh, let's see, we got these guys now. Hopefully I don't sound too terrible. So it's this one. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? You got you got a sense of the vibration? I guess I'll just keep it on here so we can be part of the experience together. Or maybe the audio is just completely distorted and I'm ruining the entire experience for all of you. Who knows? Where'd Boo go? I want to see where he went. Yeah, I've seen Boo's. Uh, yep, that one. It'd be funny if, like, you guys can sense what the... which character it is and then I can't or something like that. So we can play it together! It's a fun experience. Hopefully uh, me talking over it doesn't ruin the vibration thing for you, because you can't feel vibrations in through sound. So, I don't know, maybe you could just hear the rumble, I have no idea, let's see, maybe you can. Uh, they were all kind of samey. Uh, this one's the weakest, so go over here to Koopa. And I like the boo, and yeah, like, how could boo get hurt by a poison mushroom, he's dead, I don't get it, -ba -da -ba -da. he's still alive, he's still got the soul and the spirit. <laughs> Oh, wow, a bunch of Goombas. I don't think I've ever gotten, like, all five characters be the, exactly the same. I wonder if that could actually happen. Uh, so it's- oh, it's this one. I think. I hope. Oh, god. Uh, is this one? Yes, indeed. You just keep on going. And we got the 10. We're halfway there to the new record. Maybe I stopped on 21 just because it's my favorite number. I don't know. Uh, let's see if I can go to my other favorite number. Uh, we're gonna be here for a while if that's the case. I think it's you. Uh, let's see, does it work? There you go. I like the shine in the floor. Looks very nice. Yeah, I've been subjected to talking about the floor shine. Uh, let's see, we got these guys over and over. Uh, I think I'll start speeding up like after the next one. I think it's you again. So uh, after this one, I guess we'll start speeding up and we'll just keep on going until I'm done with it. All right, so see you guys in just a moment.
Uh, that one might be wrong, actually. Oh? Oh, Koopa, no! He was so young! Oh, uh, they all felt kind of the same, and, like, I feel like it... I feel like I knew it was Koopa, but then, like, I just messed up, and I was just, like, sort of nervous, and I was like, oh, I have to go back, I can't examine, like, which one is the correct one again? Uh, I messed up right there. But at least it was Koopa who died, instead of, like, anyone cool, like, Boo or Shy Guy. But yeah, very gruesome death. Uh, here's the results! You saved 23 patients, so your ranking is... Resolute Resident. So yeah, Kid Me had a lot of singing fun playing that game back in the day, I have no idea why, but it's a good little time waster. And speaking of good little time wasters, here we have the ultimate time waster, Doors of Doom. Yeah, it's another of Doom thing, so it's a hidden Bowser minigame. Choose the left or right door and go forward. One leads to the next room and the other will... Hmm... Just pick a left door with the L button or the right door with the right button. High score is three stinking doors, so... It's a complete luck-based game, but not in the way that you might actually expect. So there's no timer in this, so I can explain it real quick. You basically just have to choose the door, one of them uh, lets you go to the next room, the other one has Bowser. You just keep on doing this over and over until Bowser gets you. But it's not a 50-50 thing in the way that you might think it is. It's actually programmed, you actually, uh, this has been discovered through hacking, if you, uh, like, take the camera around. I don't know if it's take the camera around, or if you just, uh, uh, through code, or I don't know how this was discovered, but... Um, it's not determined on which door you choose. The game has already decided whether or not I will advance to the next room. So no matter what door I pick, if they decided that I will win this, I will be able to go through this room, I can pick whatever door I want, and it will let me go to the next room. However, if the game has already decided at this point that I will fail right here, then Bowser is going to be on both doors, so it does not matter which one I go through. There was a rumor for a long time that the door that Bowser was in, or the door you're supposed to go through, was determined on which uh, nostril- Oh, there is a timer on here! It was determined on which nostril of the Bowser statue is bigger, but no, that's just an urban legend. It's completely determined before- yep, so the game already decided that I was going to lose this from the very beginning, so there was no chance I was going to be able to go through there. So because of that, it makes it, it makes me like a lot more willing to try and get a high score because it's nothing on my end. I don't have to feel personally bad about uh, doing this. It's literally just, I have to win a coin flip 30 times, but it's done before I even have a chance to do it. So I can't really uh, think of like some sort of gambler's fallacy or anything like that. It's literally just determined before I'm even allowed to, for lack of a better term, walk through the door, basically. So, it's kind of unfortunate when you think of it that way, but it actually does make me want to play it more, as weird as that sounds. So, let's see if we can get at least through one door before I go on to the next thing. So, it's already decided whether or not I'm going to win. It does not matter which door I choose, so I can go through. Okay. And I can just keep on picking lefts over and over again. So, it's very quick to go through here if you want to try and get as far as you can. The There is a cap, however. It's not 99 like uh, Mushroom Medic is. It's actually uh, 30. So after you get through 30 doors, if you can somehow get all the way up to 30, then Bowser will be behind both doors no matter what. So that's kind of unfortunate, there's no like secret uh, end screen result or like end of the dungeon, you just keep on going until Bowser gets you. That'd be kind of cool if there was a secret screen that just nobody knew about. But here's something that I want to do. I'm going to make it a personal goal of mine to get to 30 doors. I know it's no, uh, I have no idea whether or not I'll actually be able to pull it off. But this is going to be a sort of segue into live streaming that I kind of want to do. So, throughout the majority of year 7, I will be live streaming Mario Party 4 at random times, only playing Doors of Doom. Not playing any actual boards or anything entertaining, I'm just going to keep on playing this luck-based minigame until the end of time, or until I finally get through 30 doors in a row, whichever comes first. If I could do it within year 7, hooray. If I can't, then I'm going to give up and just move on to other things because I can't just keep on doing that forever and ever and ever. I think that's going to be a very fun thing just to do live streams and trying to do this over and over. It's just a unique thing. Like, that's what I want to do with live streams. Like, I feel like it's kind of boring watching people go through the beginning of a game over and over again when they live stream a game. I like to live stream things like either midway through a game or some bonus stuff or extra stuff or at the end of a game. So it's a bit different and a different experience that you wouldn't get from other uh, people's playthroughs or live streams. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the future. I know that I'm, I like how I'm insulting other people's live streams by saying mine's a lot more interesting. I'm just going through doors for all eternity. That's my live stream. It's like the new 
the hip version of Desert Bus for charity. It's go it's Doors of Doom for charity. That'd be a great thing. Hmm, I wonder if I could do a charity thing out of this. I don't know, we'll see. I'll let you know when I start doing this crazy thing, but for now we're just gonna go ahead and head on to the next game. Bum Bob Bomb Crossing or Xing or whatever you want to call it. This is actually like a beta version of a minigame from Mario Party 5. You just avoid the the blah, blah, blah. Avoid the bombs until you can't avoid them no more. Does it say toy shop, cafe, uh, downtown, or bomb town, and bomb street? Cool. Just keep on running through here until you uh, get blown up. Just a very simple thing. There's a minigame like this in Mario Party 5, but it's a lot quicker than this, that's for sure. Uh, just keep on going through here. I don't know if this counts as jaywalking, but whatever. Apparently in Connecticut it's illegal to dance across a crosswalk, which is kind of weird. So you can touch the bombs at all, it's just that, uh, just don't be near them when they explode. I'm just gonna hang out over here. Daisy wins by doing absolutely nothing! Yeah, eventually the bombs will start running towards you, so I guess you can't win by doing absolutely nothing. Because eventually they start running after you. I like the noise they make though, it's like beep 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 beep. Phone going, just keep walking, just keep walking, 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 walking. Avoid making Christopher walking jokes because I make them way too much. Or you could just get out of here. I want to go to Bomb Town. I want to go to the toy shop or store or whatever. What do bombs even eat anyway at a cafe? I don't understand. What's the deal with the bombs? <laughs> oh, they're really angry now. They're just all running towards me. I like their little legs, though. It's really funny. Oh, hello. I didn't even see that. <laughs> So that's how that minigame works, basically. Here's the results! You survived a minute and nine seconds, so your ranking is... Wounded, wounded walk-on, okay. And finally, the final game in Wom's Basement Brouhaha is Goomba Stomp. Hop in a, hop, hop in a robot and get those Goombas. So it's kind of like tree stomp, except you're stomping Goombas instead of a single player. Just move forward and back and change direction. Apparently I've never played this on the save file. I've definitely played it before in general, just that like, I guess this isn't my original save file. I know I did have a, mem a memory card, a GameCube memory card that corrupted at one point. I lost like all my save data on like a bunch of games. So I guess this was one of those games. So how many times have I played through Mario Party 4 story mode? I have no idea and I'm afraid to actually know the answer to that. And the sad thing is, like, probably, like, back in the day when I ever wanted to replay Story Mode, I probably just played as Daisy over and over. I never bothered playing as other characters just because she was my character of choice. So I always played as Daisy. So, that's a thing. Oh my god, I can't even imagine, but whatever. Just gonna keep on going through here. Just keep on stomping through the Goombas. And we're good. Got 34. New record! New record! Here's the results! You stomped 34 Goombas, so your ranking is. I don't know why the Womp sounds like Dick Gumshoe all of a sudden. Stride and Sally, okay. <laughs> That's a funny name. But with that, we are done with Womp's Basement Brew, ha 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 ha. And we are done with the extra room. Or are we? Next time on Mario Party 4. The true finale! We are going to interact with... The Star! Which is a very dumb name. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.